آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ ناو ناو یو تو کلاس و یو آر ا لیڈنگ اکسپرت آن دا نیکسس بیتوین اسلام و اسلامیزم and violence. Do you think at that point, um, several years after the height of the cartoon controversy, do you think there was a serious risk of another round of violence being, uh, in some sense, occasioned by the book? There were never any threats. Uh, there was never any threatening mail. Uh, there was no empirical evidence of any threat. When I traveled as part of the research for the book, I was actually traveling with uh, the Danish uh, cartoons, the reproduction of the Danish cartoon, not just those, but also uh, a folder produced by um, a group of Danish uh, imams and mosque activists to rile up um, opinion in, the, in, in Egypt and, and in the Middle East. And uh, one of the imams I knew, and he had given me a copy of his his um, the, the the dossier. So I traveled with that when I went to with it to Azerbaijan. I interviewed the secretary general of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, uh, Isan um, Isanulu, and uh, I went to um, Cairo with it, and I showed it, and I told everybody. Mm. Uh, I'm going to print these um, cartoons in my book uh, when it comes out. What do you think of that? And um, people said, yes, please. We were never, never the cartoons themselves. Uh, we were always just demonstrating about uh, uh, the issue uh, was what they said about who Muslims are and what Muslims think. It wasn't, uh, depiction was never an issue. So my book actually explains that in great detail. So it was, uh, it was a paradox to uh, have the foreword to sort of turn against the even citing evidence uh, of violence. Some of the statistics I have in my own book where I argue that um, yes, there was violence in Nigeria. It wasn't because of the cartoons, but it was because there was already pre-existing conflicts and hot flash uh, points there between uh, Christians and Muslims. Uh, so uh, the statement actually turns around and distorts my the argument of my book. So, briefly, you don't actually think there was a serious probability of violence against you or people associated with Yale but no. if they had published a book with these illustrations. No. So you think the decision was the wrong one? Yes, I do.